Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 25, and today we want to look at verses 16 to 18. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. In these three verses, you'll notice that David uses five words to describe his predicament. And you may want to number it off in your Bible. Verse 16, I am lonely, that's number one. I am afflicted, that's number two. Verse 17, the troubles of my heart. Number three, troubles of my heart. Verse 17, free me from my anguish. Number four is anguish, pain. And verse 18, he uses the word affliction again and my distress. Number five is distress. Did you get the five words? Lonely, afflicted, troubles, anguish, distress. Can you see how honest David is? He's not saying everything is okay with me. He's talking about the dire predicament that he is in. He's in isolation. He's in humiliation. And uh, his sins are bothering him. As verse uh, 18 says, all my sins. So what's the solution? It's that one word look that we looked at yesterday. My eyes are ever on the Lord. Look, look to the Lord. And now in verse 16, he's telling the Lord, look on me. Lord, look on me. And verse 18, look on my affliction. Very important word, this word look. He's asking the Lord to look on his situation, to look on his predicament. And he's asking the Lord to be gracious. And that's a prayer that will always be answered. Lord, look on my situation and extend your grace to me. And the Lord is ever willing and ready to extend grace to us. And verse 17, he uses the word relieve. Relieve the troubles of my heart. Actually, verse 17 has been a very meaningful verse for me. You might want to mark it with a highlighter. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. God, relieve me from these distresses, these pressures. And then he says in verse 17, free me, free me. I mean, they are all basically saying the same thing. He is using different terminology. Be gracious to me, relieve me, free me. And then he ends the verse 18 by saying, take away all my sins. Much of the problems that come into our life are because of the consequences of sin. We make poor choices and we suffer the consequences. And uh, so we need to be always vigilant about sin. It creeps in upon us unawares at times. Sins of the spirit, sins of the flesh. That's why he uses the word all, all my sins, sins of the spirit, sins of the flesh. Take it away, Lord. Take it away. Remove it. I'm reminded of one line from a very popular hymn that we sing. Take away the love of singing, Alpha and Omega B. Take away the love of sinning. Again, a very pertinent prayer to pray. Just a one-line prayer. Take away, Lord, the love to sin and implant in my heart a deep desire for holiness. So for today, as you and I go through life, we can ask the Lord to look upon us, to see our situation, to release us, to relieve us, to free us, 
and then to take away the love of sinning. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.